You've heard the expression, up a creek without a paddle, right? Well, this time we're talking about a dolphin. Dolphin pods are not an uncommon sight at the oceanfront, but this dolphin is stuck in a Suffolk Creek. 10 on your sides, Raven Payne has an update from scientists who have been keeping an eye on it for weeks. Yeah, from the ocean to a creek, it's something you don't see every day. A dolphin in Bennett's Creek. Marine scientists say it's not trapped in mud or by a rope, but by its own mind. And they've tried almost everything possible to get it back to its home. Right now, they tell me they're not left with many options. A strange sighting in Suffolk waters, a dolphin. It's called Bennett's Creek its new home for around three weeks. Jack Evans saw it on his usual hike, calling it unusual. It's been in this area, in the creek, surfacing in the same spot now for over three weeks. And it's concerning. It's a concern marine scientists share. They say it's not physically stuck, but trapped by its own mind after getting bullied by other dolphins. This dolphin probably got beat up by other dolphins, which may have been what caused it to sort of escape into the river. Alexander Costi says teams have been up to the creek around five different times. He tells me they've tried almost everything possible to coax it out, including high frequency sound. Seeing if we can encourage it with noise and kayaks to swim back down. Um, we tried that, it didn't work. Why the urgency? Because the change from salt water to fresh water is already affecting the dolphin lesions already on its skin. And eventually it starts to uh, it starts to break down and let let diseases start to um, bacteria and other other um, uh, pathogens colonize its skin. He says their last effort is to try and physically remove it. He's not optimistic it'll work as it's dangerous for both dolphin and crew. That captures are very dangerous for dolphins as well. These are air breathing animals if it gets tangled up in a net and the net is snagged on a tree down at the bottom, it could easily drown. Costi says the most important thing for people to remember, don't stress the dolphin out even more. Don't try getting in the water next to it at all, even if you think you're helping it. In the newsroom, Raven Payne, 10 on your side.